Hi everyone, I am Mohit Sharma. I am a Six Sigma expert and a certified master black belt. I have an experience of over 15 years in implementing Six Sigma projects across industries. I will be making a series of videos on Lean Six Sigma topics. Today I will be discussing about how to create a project charter. Many beginners in Six Sigma face difficulties in creating an effective project charter. Project Charter is the real backbone of any project. Let's begin by understanding what is a Project Charter. A Project Charter is a tool to define the need of a project up front. It is used to define the focus, scope, direction and motivation for a team. It has six elements. Business Case, Problem Statement, Goal Statement, Project Scope, Project Team Charter and Milestones. Business Case is the most important component of a Project Charter. What happens in a business case, it is the citation to get the approval from your management on this particular project. So like we write citation for somebody who is winning the award. So this is the citation which helps your management to decide whether you want to do this project or you don't want to do this project. So this has three major elements. The first one is you should give a brief background of your project. Management is not aware of the process because they are at the high level sitting at the top so they don't know the deep in details what your project is doing so you should tell in two lines about what briefly what your project is doing second thing is why you should do this project if you will mention this in the project business case it will be more beneficial for you to get the approval and what happens if you don't dis do this project later so these are the three things which should be essentially captured in your project. So your management should be confident enough to give you the approval. They, how they would be confident when they will see why you want to do this project and what happens if you don't do this project. Mention dollar values in your project business case. Uh, you should make your business case more threatening. The more threatening is your business case, the more are the chances that you get the approval from the management to do the project. This is an example of a business case. ABC Bank is a multinational public sector banking and financial services company dealing with a number of offerings like home and car loans, insurance business and more. As a company, the bank's bad debt in loan books is exceeding the defined targets for the last two years. This is causing the bank serious cash flow problem that is costing them $350 million every year. The next important element in a project charter is problem statement. In a business case, you might have highlighted n number of problems. So the problem statement, it is also very important for the management to understand what exact problem you are trying to solve through this project. So a problem statement will help you define the scope of your project in front of management. Problem statements, you should always include uh, the baseline of the project data. So you should collect some data, you should have certain baseline with you so that whenever you are going to the management, you go with facts and numbers. Here are the examples of a problem statement. So I am mentioning two examples here. Measured over the past six months, bad debt accounts in home loan books have increased by 15%, resulting in a loss of $85 million. This example is from a services industry. And a similar example from a manufacturing industry could be Measured over the last six months, the defective rate of products, which is cranes, from the factory has increased by 20%, resulting in a loss of $10.5 million for last six months cumulative. The third element in the project charter is goal statement. So your goal statement and the problem statement, it's very slight, there's a very slight difference in both of them. Goal statement should be SMART, S-M-A-R-T, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant and time bound. So the difference between a problem statement and a goal statement is, goal statement is time bound. Here are two examples of goal statement. One important thing to note here is that a goal statement should start from phrases like to reduce or to improve etc. It should also have from and to statement. Examples are to reduce the bad debt accounts in home loan books from 25% to 10% by December 2017. In this example, the phrase is also there to reduce and it has from and to statements like 25% to 10% and it also has a time which is December 2017. So this is the complete or a good smart goal statement. Uh, the second example is to reduce the defective percentages in cranes from 10% to 3% by October 2017. Next element is project scope. 
it is very important to define it correctly because the right project coping can make or break your project. In my initial days, when I was doing my Greenwell project, so I didn't define the scope well. So once I was reviewing my project with the, with the sponsors in the improve phase, that is when they figured out that my scope is not right. In the improve phase, they asked us who signed off this scope. I didn't have uh, the project charter signed off with the scope of the project. So I had to redo that project. It is very, very important to sign off the scope in the beginning of the project. Clearly articulate what is in scope and what is out of scope. And here is the example of a project scope. In scope, bad debt account in the north, east and west regions of home loan department only. And out of scope is all other bank products and also southern region of home loan department. So here we have mentioned both in scope and out of scope. The next element is team charter. Team charter has four or five elements we should, which you should take here. The first one is sponsor, the second is champion, then the mentor of your project and the team members. So who is a sponsor? Sponsor is someone who has a problem and who has the capacity to fund the you know, initiative as well. For example, you want to implement certain trainings and you had to had you had to incur some cost. So that cost, the sponsor should have the authority to sign off. Champion is the person who owns the project. So there is a uh, concept, you know, in Lean Six Sigma industry that the person who is leading the project is master black belt, black belt or green belt. They are not the owners of the project. The problem is given by the sponsor to the champions. It should be very clear in your head that champion is the one who owns the project. The other responsibility of the champion is to remove the roadblocks if there are any. If there is a team meeting, the team is not listening or there is something which gets stuck somewhere. So champion's job is to clear off all those roadblocks. Next is mentor. So the mentor's role is to guide and coach the black belt or the green belt who is doing the project on Six Sigma tools and techniques. The next is team members. Team members are the people who are part of the project. Uh, they would help the project champion and the black belt or the green belt to do data collection, do brainstorming, identify the solutions and all of that. So their role is also very important. So we should clearly identify the right team in the first go. The next element is milestone. Milestone uh, is basically the time which we will take to do this project. Six Sigma DMAC project. Define, measure, analyze, improve and control are the five phases of the project. And the thumb rule on timelines is define phase should take two weeks of time, measure should take two weeks of time, analyze three weeks, improve four weeks and control should be for two months at least. And it is also important to define them correctly. If you think that there could be roadblocks, there could be change management issues while implementing certain solutions, you should highlight that upfront to the management while you are getting the approval for the project. This is the project charter template for your reference. That's it for today. I really hope that you find this tutorial useful. And if you find this useful, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Share your comments with me. Let me know in the comment box if you want me to make tutorial on any other topic. You can connect with me on Twitter, LinkedIn and Quora.com. I will mention all the social media IDs in the description box below. I have recently authored my first book, 8 Steps to Problem Solving. Buying links are mentioned in the description box below. You can also visit my website www.mbbmohitsharma.com for further details. Thank you so much for watching.